Welcome back to the world of bow making. In this video, we're talking targets and how to make your own on a budget. First, I'm going to show you the cheapest, most durable, and absolute easiest way to make a bag target. After that, I'll talk you through my journey with DIY targets, which ones have worked well for me and which ones you should avoid. Making this bag target is ridiculously easy. Just take a heavy duty yard waste bag and fill it with rags. If you have any old towels or clothes that are ripped beyond repair, go ahead and throw those in. That's it. As you wear out the target, just rotate it a little bit. It takes a seriously long time to wear through one of these bags, but when you do, it's easy enough to just replace the bag. Similar bags are sold for leaf litter, yard waste, and construction waste. I got mine for free. I think it was an old pool cover bag. From what I've seen, you can get similar products online, ranging from around $5 to $20. You can use your bag target on the ground, but I think they work a little nicer when suspended. I keep mine on the simple frame with wheels. So that's what I'm currently using. When I started making bows, I was shooting mostly at trash targets. I figured if I'm throwing stuff out, I might as well shoot at it and get some practice in. I have since moved on from styrofoam, foam mats, and plastic bags filled with plastic bags. These things sort of work at stopping arrows, but I can't recommend them. Plastic bags can actually melt just a little bit from the friction of an impacting arrow, and that gunk can get all over your shafts. So don't shoot at unidentified foams and plastics if you're using nice arrows. The other problem with these trash materials is that they can get super messy. Even if you contain styrofoam, the little beads of foam will still end up everywhere. Next I moved on to hay bales, an extremely popular choice for outdoor shooting. I don't have any setup right now, but I've shot plenty of blank bales over the years. The only trouble is hay bales will rot and need to be changed out yearly or seasonally. They're also too messy for indoor use, and unless you use compacted bales, they can have trouble stopping arrows from higher poundage bows, leading to ruined fletchings. Next I'll cover stacked cardboard targets. I also don't currently use these, but I can genuinely recommend them. This is probably the most popular material for DIY targets. Just cut a bunch of cardboard rectangles and stack them together. If you plan to use a stronger bow and need more stopping power, just compress the layers of cardboard or wrap them more tightly. The only reason I don't shoot much cardboard anymore is that it gets messy. You'll have to sweep little bits of cardboard off the floor every time you shoot. Another great option that isn't widely known is construction netting. This is a bit more of a backstop rather than a target, but you can shoot directly at it if you double or triple up the layers. Archery netting can get crazy expensive, and while it's stronger than construction netting in a one-to-one -one comparison, for the same cost you could use dozens and dozens of layers of the construction netting. Check out eBay for deals on this stuff. After big construction projects, they have to get rid of it, and it gets sold for super cheap. Alright everyone, that is all for today. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, may the bow gods be with you. May your targets live long, and may your arrows fly true.